Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I also rise to participate in the motion moved by Sri Adan Milabasaymoy. This House do now discuss the menace of drugs and substance abuse in the state. Sir, yes, at the state as a whole, we need developmental works, but sir, we cannot also neglect the fact that if we don't concentrate or examine properly about the inefficient social evils like drug abuse, which had spread so rapidly in the past few years. In fact, sir, it is like the deadliest pandemic to many of the youths, especially to the teen ages. Then perhaps, sir, the dreams of the development goals of the state will be shattered to the ground. The major consequences of drug abuse that we have seen, including the rise of even like theft, burglary, physical assault, sexual assault, etc. This will hamper the future of the state as a whole. As it is, will reduce concentration, ability in <coughs> academics, physical and mental health, family welfare, and economic drain, etc. Henceforth, in relation to this, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I would like to mention <coughs> that as per the NDPS Act, there is no stringent or strict action to block the users and the suppliers. This is evident from the fact that within a very short period after being arrested, we see that the accused <coughs> were bailed or released. Therefore, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I request the state government to immediately put forward this matter to the union government to review NDPS Act so as to incorporate more stringent laws against bailing of both the accused suppliers and the drug users. In addition, Mr. Dep Deputy Speaker, sir, my suggestion to the government is to constitute various committees at both the regional and local levels through the district council or through the deputy commissioners or CNRD block related with this matter. The government must grant full authority to these committees to operate for the smooth functioning and this may help to reduce this problem and to obtain social security in the state. Mr. Speaker, sir, with these few words, I hope that the state government will take this matter seriously at the earliest and at the earliest possible. Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Speaker, sir. Thank you, Mark.